Good afternoon and welcome back to the first video of the day. Naturally. A little humid out. It was raining this morning. It's not raining much now because everything seems to be drying off. At least it dice dried off. Went to the store to grab some, I guess it would be brunch. It was late, too late for breakfast but too early for lunch, so brunch it was. <laughs> uh, let's see. I was washing some, washed some of my dishes for. Looked outside towards the store, then seen a truck, U-Haul truck with a design I didn't recognize. I go over there to disguise it as a trip to the store. Another one. Oh look, it was Maryland. So I got the Maryland plate like two or three weeks ago, and today I got the Maryland U-Haul. It's been a couple weeks. Uh, last one I got, I think, was Alaska. I'm going to double check that one. I think it was Alaska. So, yeah. Ah, shit, it didn't shave because I absolutely finished the preliminary round. I couldn't even, can't even spit it out. So, anyways, what did happen was Philly over Vancouver. Philadelphia wins the series two games to one. And Pittsburgh over Buffalo. Pittsburgh wins the series two games to one. Now I'm getting some. Now we're at 79. I'm getting some totals for the decade of the 70s for playoff wins. So when I'm done the se when I'm done 79, and I will be done 79, I'm gonna give you the full list of every team and who made the playoff. Well, now just who made the playoffs with how many wins they got. So anyways, the quarterfinal matchups: Islanders versus Chicago. Philadelphia versus New York Rangers, Montreal versus Toronto, Boston versus Pittsburgh. So yeah, there we go. Go to Chicago winning the at that time winning the weak ass Smythe. And it was a weak ass division until after the eighty eighty one season where they ended up Fixed the divisions, realigned them, and changed the playoff format. Then Edmonton got good, and then eventually Calgary and Winnipeg got pretty good. And it's pretty much guaranteed that either LA or Vancouver would end up missing the playoffs. Because they're both pretty bad. Because there's a couple times where Winnipeg was pretty disappointing as well. So I figured from about 81-82 to 89-90. That little period there. Edmonton, Calgary, Winnipeg were the three top teams in the Smythe. Then everything pretty much changed after Gretzky got traded to LA in 88. So yeah. Oh boy, everything did change, especially after Edmonton won their last cup in 1990 by war. Not there yet, so yeah. I need to go shave. Tough vocabulary. Tough vocabulary. Yesterday's final Jeopardy answer was adjective form of a word for an expert craftsman. It tells you that cheese was lovingly handmade. Question: What is artisanal? What is artisanal? You're asking the wrong dude, dude. And now we start the Jeopardy round. Some fun and games for 200. Today's Jeopardy answer is, in blackjack, this alliterative phrase means betting your original amount again and getting just one more card. Uh... See, I don't play much poker, ever. Which is kind of funny, because I don't watch poker on TV, either. So, not even Texas. I used to for a, while, a little while there, then it's just, no. I did for, for a little while, but the strategy goes, I was like, some of it's strategy, the rest of it's just total luck. And in poker, you need a few horseshoes. 
Some of those horseshoes can be good. The other ones can be just not so good. Rotten to the core. So, yeah. I gotta pull up my razor here so I can actually go and shave. Which means I can grab my rag and clean up after myself when I'm done. And that's how it's gonna happen. So, yeah, so the next video you see of me, I won't have much hair on my face. And it's time to go put on the dukes. So, in the meantime, and in between time, stay tuned for the next one.